Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. My name is Andy Ahrens. I am on the board of the Fishers Island Conservancy which is an organization that is uh, primarily dedicated to uh, protecting the island's resources and improving the island's resources in different ways through grants and uh, active projects like uh, beach cleanup, taking out as many invasive plants as we can, in general just kind of being a, as much as we can a guardian of the island. We are starting a stewardship program um, for Fishers Island, working with the students and youth of the island. They're helping me to continue monitoring 12 major sites on Fishers Island so we begin to see the trends that are happening ecologically on the island. The two students are a brother and sister team, very unique, uh, Olivia Backus and Robert Backus. Well, we got involved in the Conservancy through our science teacher, Mrs. Carol Giles. And she uh, told us about how the Conservancy was doing this program about you know, looking at the environment and surveying beaches and stuff. And so my sister and I heard about it. It's a ton of fun. So you're going to join us on our little biking adventure, we right? We are. Yep. We're going to show you all the hot spots. We go across the beach and we report on the mammals, fish, crustaceans, mollusks and seaweed and clean activity and we keep track of that and every week so we've had the data going for months now. Over the past couple of years the erosion has become much more noticeable especially after Irene and uh, or I'm sorry Hurricane Sandy and um, as you see here hole number two to the golf course they lost about 15 feet on the right side. We're going to go to the Hay Harbor Club, which is just across the small hamlet here on Fishers Island. It's a small site. It's a different environment. You'll find docks. Uh, it's a tennis club. It'll be populated. We'll go back to Hay Harbor in January and February and see a completely different picture. Coming here, I've noticed that most of the, uh, the birds, they tend to adapt to human activity here. But uh, for the most part, we don't notice much I guess uh, land animals, I mean a few rabbits here or there, but I think other humans may have scared some of them away, but the birds don't seem to mind. We mentioned um, visual observations. Much of it is auditory too, which I find interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll hear a loon, and then I'll hear a loon answer back, and then I'll focus in on it with the binoculars. Is that natural? I don't know the name of it but it accumulates so quickly now. To me, I, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but it seems like some type of imbalance. Shoot this over to our uh, seaweed expert. We're now at Dock Beach. Dock Beach is actually owned by the town of Southold. Um, it's open to the public. We have the Fishers Island Yacht Club. A lot of boats are moored out here as well. So a lot of human activity, boat activity. And so I thought it was an important site to uh, incorporate in with the 12 other sites. Uh, I'm gonna hop in the water and uh, get the temperature and then tell it to Olivia so she can jot it down on the um, data sheets. Here there's usually rock crabs, Asian shore crabs, and lady crabs. So that's what we're looking for to see what's constant and we already know what to expect. Someone smashed a bunch of bottles in his boat and then dumped them all out there and then uh, after storms would come through all this glass like three days later washed up on the beach and uh, the intent was to make sea glass but now it's just crushed sharp glass that becomes a hazard to you know families with children who come out to the beach to enjoy the day. They have to keep an eye out for these this sort of thing. This is Middle Farms Pond and it was chosen as one of the 12 sites because it is, reflects fairly the interior of the island. Freshwater, large, large pond. And that's very interesting for Fishers Island to have um, quite a few freshwater ponds and we have the reservoir um, to notice that the diverse ecosystems are really side by side. 
traveling on bike across Fisher's Island with these sentinels was an eye-opening experience. From ocean beaches, to the calm bay waters, to freshwater ponds, there's a little bit of everything here. But don't expect to hop on a ferry and see all of this natural beauty. The majority of the island is closed to non-residents. The inclusion of local youth in establishing a baseline of environmental conditions is a smart and necessary first step in protecting this secret garden for future generations.